Hello guys, welcome again. Today I would like us to speak about immigrating to Luxembourg. I don't know if you say Luxembourg, Luxembourg, whichever way you say it. Let's speak about how you can immigrate to Luxembourg as a person who's coming from a third world country, from Africa, especially from Kenya, you guys know I've got you, and from Tanzania, yeah, because that's where I'm from. I currently live in the UK, but I do a lot of research on immigration and finding out how you can go and work abroad or go and study abroad. If this is what you're interested in, then stay with me to the end and let's find out how you can immigrate to Luxembourg. Come with me. Luxembourg is loved by people because it's a very beautiful place. It's got a lot of cultures. Most of the people there are actually immigrants. Now, the highest paying jobs in Luxembourg include people who work in financial services. So if you're an accountant, auditor, all that, then you will earn very well. If you're a teacher, if you're an electrician or you work in the electricals, and then there are people who work in IT, it's also a very good and well-paying job, banking systems, and also people who are working in insurance. So if these are your specialties, then you will be very well accepted in Luxembourg. The other type of job that is um, in high demand is also kitchen assistants and things to do with restaurants. If you go online and you search how many immigrants are in Luxembourg, you'll find it to be so interesting because there's a lot, a lot of people from all over. So Luxembourg is landlocked, which means there's no like sea around it. And it's surrounded by France, Belgium, Germany, and then there's the little bits that are surrounded by others, but these three are the biggest ones that surround it. So like you can take a train within like two hours, you'll be in Berlin. You can take a train into France. It's a very small country, but it's interesting because it has a very big economy. It's a growing and booming economy. And the very interesting thing about um, working in Luxembourg is that you see the jobs that they post online. When, you, when it comes to other countries, they can say, residents only or people who are in Luxembourg only but if you're outside and you're interested in working in Luxembourg and you go online and you search for jobs the jobs that you find are open to everyone that's what I find to be so interesting about Luxembourg they do not discriminate who's going to send in their application now if you're from outside and you're interested in finding out all the visa information i want to walk with you step by step so that you can understand how you can get employment in luxembourg i'm going to go into my computer and like literally demo to show you how you can go online find these websites find these jobs and then get to applying so if you're interested in that stay with me until the last minute of this video yeah let's speak about luxembourg so what is the main thing that goes on in luxembourg in terms of their economy the banking system is very good in luxembourg people have um invested a lot in in luxembourg so it makes their economy actually work well the real estate is very good the people who are going to work there as accountants, the people who are going to work in IT. There are a lot of um, industries that you can explore when you're planning to go and work in Luxembourg. So there are different visa routes that you can use if you're interested in going and working there. And then you can go there as a salaried worker. You can go as a self-employed worker. You can go there as a highly qualified worker, a researcher. You can go as an athlete. And then I've already spoken about becoming a student. You can go there as an au pair. You can go there for your own private reasons. Whatever your reason is for going there, you will need a visa. And it can be a long stay visa or a short stay visa. They, it's not an expensive thing. Once you've got your job offer from an employer in Luxembourg, they can help you process your visa. But from where you are, you'll need to go to the embassy with the job offer that you've been given and a few other papers and uh, you you might need to pay um for your own visa from your own country but you shouldn't pay to get a job offer if it's a legit employer they're going to just tell you okay we've hired you and then you'll be on your way to working in luxembourg now remember when covid happened 
um, people, there's something that actually worked um, for for us who are employing, who are applying for jobs from outside the countries that we want to go and work in. Mostly people used to prefer um, people who are already in their country because they can see them, they can talk to them, they can tell how they are behaving. But then when COVID hit, everyone had to go and do online interviews, whether you're a, a house away or a mile away, or 10 miles away, everyone had to do interviews online. And now this is actually working for us who are applying from overseas because people are doing interviews online, people are working remotely from home. So it doesn't matter where you are, you can actually get employment. And if they need you based on your qualifications, if they need you from where you are, you can actually work from where you are. That's what I'm finding interesting about um, this thing with COVID, you know, like what happened. So. If you're wanting to immigrate to Luxembourg, don't be discouraged by thinking, because I'm not in that country, I probably won't get the job. You will still get the job based on your qualifications. And even when you don't have all the qualifications, still you can still get it. It's all about your luck. So you never know. Let's speak about the languages that they speak in Luxembourg. So in Luxembourg, the main language is Luxembourgish. That's what it's called. And then there are people, of course, from Belgium, from Germany, from France. So it brings in different cultures and different languages. And then, of course, English. English is always, um, I think people who speak English are very lucky because it's spoken in many places. So if you're thinking of going to Luxembourg, you might face a bit of a challenge when it comes to speaking to people who do not speak the language that you do. And I mean English. Or if you speak French, that's good for you because you'll meet some people who speak French. But the main thing I would encourage is once you get to Luxembourg, do your best to learn Luxembourgish. And then if you get a job offer, start learning the language so that when you get there, it's a little bit easier for you. I've also done a few more um, researches here and there, and I'm going to speak about them throughout the course of the video. So what are the steps that an employer takes and you take in order for you to be able to go and work in Luxembourg, step one, your employer is going to make a declaration of a vacant position in the ADEM, that's the National Agency for Employment. This agency is going to um, have a look and make sure that there's no one in the local market or in the EU who can fill the vacant position. Now, if you remember very well, when I started speaking about this, I told you that there are jobs that locals generally don't want to do. And then when an economy is very big, people will always need um, to hire from outside so that they can fill certain vacant positions. So this should not discourage you from applying. Once the people have done the check, in three weeks, after the, the, the employer has submitted the um, job application, then they are eligible to bring in a third country national. Now, remember, this is not the same for people who are in the EU. It's just for people who are in the third world countries. For you to be able to be hired, the job should not be um, one that can be filled by someone who's in Luxembourg or in the EU. Then you will be considered. If after three weeks the employer can prove that they could not get someone in the EU, then the job is going to be for you. The employer will then submit a formal application to the government to grant him a certificate that allows him to bring you in as a foreign worker. They're going to mail the certificate to you and then you are going to use that to go into the embassy of the country where you're in and then you'll be able to be given your work visa. Once you go into Luxembourg, your employer must see the permission that you have to work there. They will then ask you for a copy of your residence permit and then they'll keep it for the duration of the contract that they've given you. So they're not taking your residence permit, they're getting a copy of it and then they're keeping it for the duration of the stay that you've been authorized to work under the contract. Remember, you're there to work under the contract that you've been given by the employer. And then from the first day of work, they'll need to notify their foreign affairs ministry of your working relationship. So they're going to notify them that you've officially started working. And this is very good for you because it protects you from um, all the things that you could face, for example, in a foreign country, because then you are there in a legal manner, if I can say it like that.
just like most countries in the first world if you're planning to go and live in luxembourg and work there for either a short or long term you'll need to undergo a medical check this is just procedure for most of the countries to make sure that you're healthy enough to be able to work and that you're not a threat to the public health if you're planning to go there as a student what well, the first thing you'll need to do is submit your application for the authorization to stay in luxembourg of course, you'll need to have a passport and then you'll need the type D visa. If you're an athlete, if you're going there to work, if you're going there as a student, you'll need the type D visa. Of course, what you're going to do if you're planning to go there as a student is apply to the university of choice. And then once they've accepted you into the university, you can then use that to apply for the authorization to stay in the country where you're at. You'll take your passport, you'll start applying, and then you'll take all these documents to the consulate or to the embassy, depending on where, uh, on who represents Luxembourg in your country. Once you get into Luxembourg with your short, with your type D visa, you can then apply for the residence permit. There's of course another way to immigrate into Luxembourg where you're using the family reunion route and it means you have someone who's already in Luxembourg and they are just applying for you to join them. You don't need a different visa in order to be able to carry out paid work. You could even be going there because you've married someone who's in Luxembourg and you're planning to immigrate there. So you can apply, you can use your marriage certificate and then you can immigrate and go and live and work in Luxembourg. Hey guys, so let's have a look at um, how you can apply for these jobs um, in Luxembourg. One of the best websites I like is this one called jobs.lu. Um, if you can see here, I've got so many categories that I can choose from. There's accountancy, architecture, aviation, fitness and leisure, operative, manual laboring, legal, industry, you know, the whole vibe. But because I like um, especially um, things to do with hotels, restaurants, let me just click on that. And then we see what comes up. There's a lot of jobs here. Student part-time employees, uh, sous chefs, um, hygienists, cuisineur, I hope that's how you say them. So let me look at the receptionist um, job. So one of the best things I like to do is I right click and then I say translate to English. And this is why applying on your computer is much better than sometimes applying on your phone because this is just easy. Um, yeah, so from what I can see here. The receptionist job, the receptionist job, um, parking by Radisson Luxembourg City Hotel is recruiting a receptionist on a permanent contract. A rotating receptionist is responsible for morning, evening shifts. So it's a permanent contract, which is good if you're planning to immigrate there because you need something that's going to be able to pay for your um, living. And then the job description that's all they need you just read all that offer and benefits um permanent contract expected date you start immediately application procedure interested persons are invited to send their application cv photo and cover letter via jobs.lu so that's the website you're going to use and then so if I want to apply for this job, I'll just put in my email address, first name, last name, I'll attach my CV, and then I'll add a cover note, and then a personal cover note here. It's recommended. If they say it's recommended, then please try your best and do that. And then you can send in your application at the bottom here. And then you'll go back and find similar jobs and do your best to apply to as many as you can. If you'd like to be part of my Jobs Academy where I constantly send you these um, applications, then please let me know and I'll let you know the terms and conditions for joining that because I would like to work with a focused group of people who are just all about applying for jobs and looking for these opportunities. And one of the best ways for me to do that is to make sure that we both hold each other accountable rather than just doing a blanket uh, sending out of um, links. And then the next one is total jobs. Of course, this is um, a very common one and we've used it before. If you watch my videos, you have seen me going into this website to find jobs in different countries. 
So like these are the vacancies that are there. There's clinical research associate. Of course, if you want a job in the hotel industry, you'll just type here, for example, reception jobs. I don't want reception in Aberdeen. I want reception jobs in Luxembourg. If you go into this and then you're able to type in, then please let me know. Because as always, I say I'm also, it's a learning curve for me as much as it is for you. And I'm just all here to help you get the best out of these websites. So if you find a way to do that, then let me know and then I can let the other people know. So trainee recruitment consultant, trainee baker. Let's say if I want to go there as a baker. It's £10 an hour. What I'll need to do is apply or if this is the type of job that I would like, I will just create a lot and they'll always send me a lot to my to my email address. And then that's total jobs and then let's have a look at this one and it's indeed, this one is a monster. There's also monster. So it's luxembourg.indeed.com that you're going to use for indeed. This is a website that we've used many times to find jobs. Um, I'll just right click that and say translate to English and then here we go um, student job security guard I can get a job as head of airport services these are the duties the profile and then how to apply, applying company site. So if I click on that, it will take me to the site where I can apply for the job. Yeah, so that's how you do it, guys. You just get to applying, applying, applying. Crew member, this one is in Belgium. If you know a bit of Belgium, then that would be good for you. They're hiring two candidates. It's a part-time job. I would recommend you get a full-time job just so that you're paid well enough to be able to get accommodation, food when you're moving to a new place. Yeah, so just get onto that. Um, because this is the Luxembourg one, then you can just um, click on the type of job that you would like to do and then search. So these are sales jobs. You can activate the alert. Yeah, that's all of them. And remember, right click, translate to English, and you'll get the job that you would like. And I'll see you guys as I keep showing you how to apply for these jobs. Cheers! So that's it for today. I hope I've opened your mind. I hope you're now thinking more in terms of where you can immigrate to. The limitations are only in our minds. There are so many opportunities out here for us to just take control of. And remember, you can um, subscribe to my podcast where I'll be giving you more information on how you can immigrate, how you can apply for jobs. I want you to have the best information so that you can explore your full potential. I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope for today you've learned a lot in terms of how and where and how you can apply and immigrate to Luxembourg. See you guys. Bye bye.